Before we start, I want to give a shout out to Console Pros from eBay. He's the guy I bought the DS from, and he actually helped me jailbreak it. I was gonna do it myself, but he actually did it for me, so it saved me a bunch of time. Not just that, but he also installed over 70 games for me. So as you can see, this guy hooked me up. And perfect timing too, since Nintendo is shutting down the Nintendo eShop in March 2023. He also gave me homebrew softwares, and he also gave me emulators from previous older consoles. So make sure to check him out on eBay, he's got some really good deals that you will love. What's going on you guys? My name is Caesar, and in my last video, I showed you guys how to install DSi built-in softwares on your 3DS, such as the DSi camera, DSi sounds, DSi shop, video chat, and many more. But today, I'm going to show you which DSi softwares work with the Nintendo 3DS. I want to show you guys which softwares work. Alright guys, so the first DSi software we're going to be testing on the 3DS, we have the Nintendo DSi camera. Now from my point of view, this is actually way better than the 3DS camera in multiple ways. So let's go ahead and run this, and let's go ahead and test it out. <laughs> I just realized that. So as you can see, it runs perfectly well. So, we're gonna go ahead and go to camera. I'll show you guys that the pictures work too. Now, here's a little catch about this, and look, you can see I'm like right there. What's up guys, subscribe to CJ Studios! So yeah, as you can see, the, the pictures run perfect, uh, perfectly well too. Well, it's still kinda somewhat blurry, but yeah, it, it still runs well. And to be honest, I was kind of afraid that it wasn't gonna work, but it did. Now, normally the DSi's camera would be built in right here, but, like, see, it's compatible, like, up here, too. But if you switch the camera, now you see only one of the cameras are actually functioning right now. And that's because, um, I think it's this one. So, it only, so, like, the DSi only has one camera on the back, so, so, like, it chose this one to work. So, as you can see, like, the, the effects and stuff work, too. All right. So yeah, I'm like I'm just doing random stuff because I'm trying. I'm just trying to show you guys that everything works. But yeah, as you can see, like the actual camera effect does work here. Um, let's try something real quick. Okay, I just changed the background a bit. Nothing big. So let's get out of here, and if you go to albums too, albums run well too. Um, okay, yes, I know, I don't really care about Facebook. Get out of here. I don't have a Facebook, I don't need that. So these are pictures I previously took, and yeah, as you can see, like some there's some like stuff. I, I was messing around with the color pad effect a lot, so as you can see, like the CJ Studios logo is purple, and now it's red. This is stuff that you wouldn't really expect to see, because the original CJ Studios logo is green. And I took some pictures, me and my friends, and then... uh. My friend Josh. <laughs> Sorry, Josh, I accidentally leaked that. Me and my friend Yeselia. My friend Jaden. And I... John Luke, I stretched his face out. And his mask is blue, but I used the color pad and changed it to yellow. And Nathan as Mario. <laughs> Let's edit this, actually. So, it runs perfectly well, like, as if it was a normal DSi. So, yeah, like, literally, I can I can mess with any effect I want. Like, hang on, what if I... What if I do this, actually? Now it's Luigi, but with an M. Why did they have a Luigi filter? I always wondered that. We have a calendar right here too, um, make memos and you know. So the options run well too. Um, the DSi camera tutorial, I've already seen, showed this in previous videos so I'm not going to do that. And now we'll just close it out. So while this runs perfectly, I've noticed two problems that, um, that actually ended up occurring when, um, when installing this. So for example, if I were to close the DS and then open it back up, the DSi camera will just freeze up, 
and it will not run at all. So like, your only option here is to close out with the home menu. And yes, if you press the home button too while that while the software is running, it will still freeze up as well. So literally, like, I don't know why, but it just happens. Considering I downloaded this from online, you're gonna expect to see some couple errors. That's not the only problem I've noticed too. I might be wrong, but I think it may have I think it may have messed up the 3DS camera though. It didn't at first, but I've noticed like I've noticed that like this doesn't load in all the way. When I first got the 3DS, so when I first got the DSi camera, the 3DS camera still ran perfectly well. Um so and yet and yes, the DSi pictures taken from the DSi camera will also be included on here too, but um I think the only problem here is that this takes forever to load, and I don't think it's because of the fact that I have another camera app on here. Another one I want to show to you guys is the Nintendo DSi Sound. I used to love the icon, like the little parakeet just like moving around, chirping and stuff. So, basically, um, there was only one problem that happened when I used this one, I'll get to that right now. Um, but it runs perfectly well. But there's only one small problem. So, you have to wait a good while before you press anything, because if you press something right away, like if I press this right now, like the whole thing will just freeze up. Like it'll it'll fade into a white screen, and then you're stuck there. So you gotta, you gotta give it a good while. Okay, that should be long enough. So click recording sounds, and yes, this runs perfectly well too. <laughs> That's from the digital vid series on CJ Studios. So yes, this runs perfectly well. The settings also works. I don't really, I, I don't necessarily need to show you guys anything on there. Um, the one thing I actually never noticed about this though, check this out. So you can actually change like the little slideshow right here. When I had a DSi, I never really screwed with it as much. Uh, through the DSi sounds. Oh crap, no, that's not what I wanted. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of there. Um, now, the problem that only happened on here is that ever since I downloaded this, it sometimes tends to corrupt the, D the 3DS sounds software. And I'll show you what I mean right now. So 3DS sounds right here. So if I go ahead and select this, I'll show you what happens here. So, it acts like it runs properly, right? And yes, it does. And, and here's the thing, and here's another thing though too, is that anything you record on the DSi sounds will pop up on the 3DS sounds. So like, like the, the digital viz one right here. But the only problem here is that ever since I installed DSi sounds, the, the one thing that corrupted the 3DS sounds is that I cannot close out of the, the freaking software. So as you can see, the home button for some reason got disabled. So look, look. If I'm pressing the home button, it just gives me this little icon saying that I can't go home. That's not supposed to happen on a normal DS. I don't know why it does that, but I don't use this, nor do I use the other D or the other software, so it doesn't really bug me as much. So, yeah, the only way I can really get out of this is if I hold down the power button. But doing that, as you can see, it ends up crashing my 3DS. So, I have to hold it down longer and and perform a, a force shutdown. So the next software we're going to try out is PictoChat. This one, I was very disappointed when PictoChat was not on the 3DS when I got my other one, um, the one when I was younger. But this actually runs perfectly on here. No errors, no problems whatsoever. So as you can see, PictoChat, um, like it runs like normal. You know, it runs like the DSi's PictoChat. And yes, you can open a room. And you know what? I think this is actually compatible with the normal DS too. I'm not exactly sure. I don't have a normal DS or a DSi to prove it, but I'm pretty sure it functions very well. I'm, I can't believe this was not on the 3DS, you guys. Alright guys, let's head to the next software. So for the next software, we're going to check out... Download Play. And yes, this one actually...
See, so it ran through right here, so as you can see, um, and I tested this myself. The first time it didn't work, but the next two times it actually did work. So this will actually connect to the other DS, luckily. So as you can see, this is, you can consider this a faster way of, so you can consider this a faster way of um, activating DS download play rather than going on the 3DS download play and just clicking Nintendo DS after. So sometimes it doesn't work, as you can see, I got that error code. It, it works last time. So last time it did work. Um, let me just try one more time, just, just to be safe. Okay, that's a lie. It just corrupted on me. I don't know why I said perfectly. So yeah, as you can see, like, it'll literally, like, run well. But this ain't a gameplay video, so let's get the hell out of here. The next one we're going to try out is... The Nintendo DSi Shop, and I'm just going to give you guys just a quick spoiler. This does not work at all. And here's the thing. The Nintendo DSi Shop closed down back in 2017, but that's not even the reason why it doesn't run on here. You'll see what I mean. Yeah, see, so... The thing is, is that, um, I think this is aware that this is not a DSi system, so it will not run properly. So even if you click the reset button, it's 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 still gonna give you the same error code. I'll show you right now. See, all this is really good for is just the music. That's it. You cannot browse the shop or anything. There isn't even a shop anymore. They shut down. All you can really get is the 3DS transfer tool. But again, this is not a DSi, and I'm pretty sure it's aware of that. Now we're gonna check out Nintendo Zone. And no, this is not the 3DS Nintendo Zone. If you're referring to, if you think I'm referring to this one, I'm not, and especially because this one does not even work anymore. They discontinued this, I don't even know how long ago. This one is different. See, this one is one, this one is the DSi version. I didn't even know this one existed till today. I don't know why the screen's so bright, there we go. So yeah, I guess uh, this was from 2010. The 3DS came out like a year after this. So this was kind of pointless to include. Um, I have no idea what the Nintendo Zone is, not even for the 3DS. I never had any idea what it was, even though I had a 3DS as a kid. Yes, yeah, so you cannot find Nintendo Zone. So like it runs properly, but they shut down, I'm assuming. So this is not any use either. We have two more softwares, you guys. So the next one we're going to check out is the Nintendo 3DS transfer tool. And um I was actually curious if this would even run at all, considering that this has 3DS assets and everything. Like, it literally looks like the system settings on 3DS. But, when I ran it, um, I got an unexpected surprise- well, honestly, I didn't even know it was gonna happen, so I wouldn't say unexpected. Anything unexpected would happen. See, so you get an error code, the music runs, but as you can see, like right here, um, Please reconnect. Please reconnect to the Nintendo DSi shop to transfer data. So you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, wait a minute! Yeah, it doesn't run properly! Thanks, Nintendo! We got one more to test out, and that's the Nintendo DSi browser. Um, okay, this actually, this one somewhat works. It will not, uh, it will not go through every single website, but the more simple one. So I can Google things on here if I wanted to. So as you can see, like, it runs perfectly, the Nintendo logo right here. The screen is very bright, I'm sorry, I don't know why it keeps fading out on me, it's kind of getting annoying. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, like, everything runs perfectly, like, I can literally Google things on here. So, for example, let's see, I can literally, uh, let me Google CJ Studios, and let's see what happens. And, here we, here we go, who even uses Yahoo? <laughs> I don't. I'm pretty sure some of you guys do, but I do not. Yes, use Google. That's the old Google logo, man. I love the old Google logo. Your search has been sent to Google. Okay, that's not, okay, I don't care about that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, as you can see, like it runs really well. And yeah, here's my logo right here. So it somewhat works. So let's go ahead and go to images. This is literally like the 3DS's internet browser. Yeah, look, you see, um, not everything here is mine. Some, like, some of this stuff's mine. Like, the CJ Slides, Lost and Beyond, uh, this is, this, this stuff is mine. Who is the, who is this imposter? So, let's see, um, 
I'm not gonna like there isn't really much you can show because not everything will run properly on here. Um, so let's go ahead and search. All right, so I just searched for okay. Here we go. So yeah, as you can see, like here's all my YouTube stuff right here. Um, yeah, my profile picture, my announcement video, my recent one. Um, yeah, most of this is like CJ Studios videos, and oh my god, no. This is my old thumbnail. Why is this like, wh why are they showing the old thumbnail Lost and Beyond? I like, I changed that literally a year ago. But yeah, as you can see, everything works uh, on the internet browser, almost. You can Google things, but websites will not work. I even tried YouTube itself, and that's, that does not run properly. And I even think I tried the 3DS's YouTube, uh, internet browser on YouTube, and I don't think, even think that ran well either. And I think that's it, yeah. So this is, uh, this is all the DSi built-in softwares on the Nintendo 3DS. Thank you so much for watching this video. This was actually a very interesting thing to review. Um, cause usually, this is the type of stuff you don't necessarily see on the 3DS, and you don't even see people review things like this. But if you guys want to get these softwares on your on your own 3DS, you have to jailbreak it first, and then watch my previous video where I show you how you can install CIA files on um, on your 3DS, and this will install as CIA Wear. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the video, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe, and also subscribe to my main YouTube channel, CJ Studios. This is my filmmaking YouTube channel where me and my friends get together and make skits, and they are very good. I guarantee you guys will love it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in another video.